It is the worst outbreak of bird flu this country has ever seen. And now its impact is being felt beyond the farm and all the way to your local grocer. Morgan Brennan has more on the nation's egg shortage. Consumers are starting to feel the pinch from this year's record outbreak of bird flu. Well, I mean, shopping is more expensive. I'm going to probably go to a couple of stores before I make my decision and uh, buy certain product. Now it'll change what I have to eat. Grocery stores across the U.S. are beginning to notify customers that a national egg shortage is cutting into inventory levels and pushing retail egg prices higher. The USDA has now confirmed more than 200 cases of bird flu, affecting 45 million chickens and turkeys. The vast majority, egg-laying hens. Nearly 12 percent of the country's layer hen population is being put down. Commodity research firm Erner Berry says it's pushed egg prices to record levels. We're looking at about a 270 percent increase to egg product pricing um, in terms of the breaking egg cost. And now the egg processors have had to go out in the open market and compete for any and all shell eggs. According to Erner Berry, over the past six weeks, the wholesale price of a dozen Midwest large shell eggs, the kind consumers buy at the store, have risen 120 percent. Supermarkets are beginning to push that cost out to their customers. In New Jersey, one Wegmans grocery store has posted notices about the situation in its dairy and baked goods departments. Availability at some Lunds and Byerly's stores is limited due to shortages in the Twin Cities market. Restaurants are also beginning to feel the pain. Regional fast food chain Whataburger has had to curb its breakfast hours after its primary supplier became infected. McDonald's confirms that one of its suppliers was impacted as well, though contingency plans are preventing any disruptions. Other chains, including Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks and Dine Equity's IHOP, say they haven't been affected but are watching the situation closely, which experts warn may still get worse. We certainly didn't anticipate an outbreak that big. So it's, we are in, you know, going through uncharted waters now. But there have been winners, if reluctant to be called that. Analysts note top egg producer Cal Maine, whose operations are largely in the south and southwest, may benefit from increased demand, sending the stock soaring. Archer Daniels Midland says it's fielding more inquiries for the egg substitute products it manufactures, as is startup Hampton Creek. And earlier this week, the USDA greenlighted the importation of pasteurized egg products from the Netherlands to help companies make up for losses. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.